Hi, it's Carl Kwan here. So this is an English listening lesson about the U.S. Solar Energy Program. Now the story comes to us from the BBC, and like I said, it's about the American Solar Energy Program. So you're going to hear a story about the story, and then the actual story. This will give you practice listening to someone tell a story, as well as practice listening to a news article. So I want you to follow the instructions and complete the dictation exercises which are on the website. So number one, listen or watch the material two to five times. Number two, complete the fill in the gap dictation exercise, then repeat. Number three, dictate the story. Dictate the story rather fully. Repeat. If the material is too long, dictate twenty or thirty seconds each time you study. And finally, step number four: repeat steps two to four, and do this as many times as possible. If you still have trouble, please ask me your questions in the comment section or email me, and I will help you. Thanks and good luck. I heard on the news yesterday that the U.S. is going to set up the world's biggest solar power plant. Yeah, Obama just gave the OK on about two billion dollars in loan guarantees to get the American solar energy industry up and running. Anyway, they're going to build the world's biggest solar plant、uh, somewhere in Arizona that'll power about seventy thousand homes. I think it's about time, and I think it's awesome. What about you? Do you care about solar energy and all that stuff? U.S. to provide nearly two billion dollars for two solar energy projects, July third, two thousand ten. The solar power plant planned for Arizona may be the biggest in the world. Nearly two billion dollars, or one point three billion pounds, in loan guarantees will be given to two companies to kickstart the U.S. solar energy industry. President Barack Obama has announced. One of the firms. Abenoga Solar says that it is planning to build the largest solar power plant in the world in Arizona. Mr. Obama said the projects would provide more than 5,000 new jobs. The Arizona plant should power 70,000 homes and cut carbon dioxide emissions. The money will come from government stimulus funds designed to boost the economy during the recession. Outlining the Solana project at Gila Bend near Phoenix. Abenoga said it would have an area of 1,900 acres, using thermal storage-equipped parabolic trough technology, with 280 megawatts of power output capacity. According to the company's website, 1,500 new jobs will be created during the plant's construction, with 100 positions for staff to maintain it.